Welcome, my friend, to Let's Do the Unthinkable. Let's go back to being a mundane adventurer. Helping people with their stupid, pesky little problems. Let's just get through this. Well, at least you didn't refer to me as that slur, so kudos to you. I know where that corpse is. I happened upon it. Right before, you know, I got attacked by the angry mob. Oh, hi, Mom. Yeah, I guess in hindsight that, that is kind of a baby, huh? Maybe they're just aiming for anything that, you know, fat and blubbery like this. Who knows? Maybe they hit this one by accident. You know, once the first arrow is in, you kind of have a still target, you know? Why don't you get your own dang arrows? No, oh, I need to butcher it for me. You know, you better make me something out of this. I'm going fetch questing. I want a full stomach. You hear me? And my chocobo too. He needs to eat too. It may be instant, but he doesn't come with his own seasoning, okay? You, you need to forgive me that, alright? Alright, deal. Your delivery, sir. Where's my full belly? Hey, 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 excuse me. You're a jerk. Still hungry. Okay, can I can I have a descriptor? Well, I suppose he's wearing Confederate clothing, but you know, why do people not have a chain of command for these kinds of things? You know, it's always oh, I can't leave my post, but somebody is not where else they should be. Do you mind going retrieving them for me? Do you not have some kind of, like, horn or, or summoning system or whatever to have your security patrol or whatever the hell you want to call it be like, Hey, hey, this jerk-off left his post. Like, I can't leave mine. Can, can you go take care of that, please? Okay, thanks. Bye. I guess get a stick harder though, or we can just go right back to the same spot. Never mind. Oh, unless I got it in multiple spots. Never mind, Derp. Do not mind me. I did not see that other glittery in the background. I don't know if it was going to be a case of, oh, you know, just wait around a little bit longer kind of thing. You know. I'm going to skip that one. I'm going to go to this one.
Well, all right then. Hi, you're wanted. Are you over here fishing or something? No, I'm not, but... Okay, let me get my chocobo's butt off the screen. Okay, then. So your friend just crossed over, so to speak. Okay, alright, fine. I suppose we can afford you some forgiveness for that, then. Hi, I found them! wasn't a token. Uh, excuse me, you do not seem to be dressed for the occasion. Uh, no, I'm not our new recruit. Okay, who the hell are you? Oh, all right, like, I suppose I'm gonna help you because I'm trying to guilt trip these two over here, but... Y you're supposed to sit on the bench, not the table. But I thought once you join the Confederacy, you forsake all everything else. And I didn't want to kick this one guy out, huh? Oh, you're not even gonna let me jump over the fence. Alright, fine. We'll jump this way. It's like, probably get freaking killed by this thing. That was not the wisest of decisions I've made today. Pick this up over right here. You're gonna make me walk all the way around, aren't you? Yeah, here's some stuff to make you not sick. Sure, where you been that you know you're seasick right next to the shore? Well, oh well. What do I know? The game is just absolutely loving sending me up and down the stairs constantly today. I'm not in need of a workout. <laughs> Okay, so... Maybe just don't be mean to me again, okay? Alright, cool.
So yeah, apparently he's of dumb and descent. Interesting. How many more people do I gotta help before I can convince these people that... You know, I know their life sucks and is going to continue to suck if we don't do something about the Empire? I can never find this one last quest. There it is. Or am I thinking of another side quest? There, there's somebody around these parts at one point that, uh... It's a pain in the butt to find because they're an odd camera angle you don't usually look at. Why don't you just eat the shark then? So, why do you have riding fish? I mean, maybe this is the inedible stuff you're using as bait to- well, that does say chum, so probably. Uh, to catch the other fish, maybe? I don't know. Because y'all make it seem like you're starving to death, but you got a bunch of fish here. Maybe they're poisonous fish. Maybe they're like fugu or something. And you're like, ew, like no, but hey, we can use it to catch other things. Maybe? I don't know. We're just gonna assume that, okay? A shark. Shame you have to die and all. So let's just leave out the part where, you know, the sharks can just float themselves on land and, stu and stuff. I mean, I suppose we can just leave it as I've seen Stranger, so. Alright, so here we go. Okay, sharks are dead. Now we gotta find where the rest of the crew went. Wait a minute. That don't look like no shark. I'm sorry, Mr. or Mrs. if the case may be, Red Kojin. Um, I have no personal quarrel with you, but... Khan was sent here to make sure these guys got home in one piece. Assuming, you know, they were still alive when I found them. And they're still alive, so... Unfortunately, you're not. Yeah, right? No, just you so far. Well, you're not. You're confederates. Like, that's your whole thing, is you join the confederacy and screw everything else. I mean, I know they probably mean ethnically, but... Oh, hi you two! Oh, come on! I didn't get to see that! Oh, come on! Yeah, I do. 
I'm gonna get to talk to the other guy up there. At least they're boys with boats. They can't really do anything. Not unless they, you know, take their head out of their rear ends and actually attempt to put up a fight. Ah, hi. The Empire has now come for you guys, too. So, y'all gonna do anything about this? Our most compassionate acquaintances return. For your deeds, we owe you many thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, will you help us now? But something tells me our thanks are not sufficient. The strange thing is, I was certain you understood our position. And yet here you are with that same look in your eyes and those same words upon your lips, I'll wager. What, do you think we were helping you out of the goodness of our hearts? Holy crap, you should know, you're a pirate, you should know better than this. I speak only the truth. The Confederacy will not be spared Yotsuyu's wrath. You have always known this, that one day you would have no choice but to stand up to the Empire. I say to you that day is today, and come once more to ask that you join us in the fight. Uh, uh, can, can we not talk about that guy who nearly got slaughtered by a Red Kojin? How convenient that recent events should lend such credence to your claims. Tell me, do death and destruction always follow in your wake? Well, yeah, but usually we're the cause of it. <laughs> they had no part in it, Tansuri. You know this. We all know this. They came and took our Doman brothers. They will torture them for her sport. Murder them for her satisfaction. So we attack and get butchered for our trouble, or do naught and let them have their pound of flesh. If this be our choice, I say we suffer the ignominy. We endure. We survive. There is no better path. Until the day our enemy is grown weaker, and we stronger, there can be no retribution. We will wait for a sign. Such is the judgment of the Confederacy. Okay, well somebody get a postal board and a giant sharpie, we'll make you a sign. <laughs> so that's it then. You're just going to abandon them, to her. They die for you, you know. For the Confederacy. They would die for you, but you wouldn't even think to risk your lives for theirs. I have one last idea, if you will allow. I'm afraid it's not very good as ideas go. It's exceedingly reckless, in fact, and you may well come to despise me for ever having suggested it. Assuming we survive, that is. Uh oh. The question being, do you trust me? <laughs> no, no, we're, 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 we're gonna trust her. She's our friend. We can't stand by and let innocent people suffer, here or anywhere else. I'll do whatever it takes. Then let us roll the dice. If it's a sign you want, we shall give you one. One rousing enough to make you drive every Garlean out of Isari without a second thought. You are wary of invoking the ire of the Imperial forces stationed in Dome, correct? Know then that once we have rescued our comrade and freed Isari, we mean to liberate the nation as a whole. You will doubtless require assurances that we are capable of achieving this, and that is only fair. Accordingly, 
We shall demonstrate our seriousness by depriving the Garleans of a key ally, the Kojin. <laughs> what, the three of you just like that? Clearly you're unfamiliar with who I am. Though I suppose I can forgive you for that. Actually, my esteemed colleague here will attend to it on her own. But the how of it is not your concern, only the outcome. If we succeed, you help us liberate Asari. If we fail, you lose nothing. A simple enough wager, if you have the stones for it. The little miss does make it hard to refuse, does she not? Words are air. We will weigh you by your deeds. So is that a yes, you'll take the deal? If you pussy out on me in the end, I swear. What do you losers have to say for yourselves now? Lise, where did you go? Lise, where did you go? Where did you run off to? Okay then. Yeah, all in a day's work for me, you know. Ooh, you even get advice. Well, we kind of already know this. Like, that's how Soroban got involved in this. But it is good to know where we can find the blue. So thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, where is Lise? Where did she go? Yeah, so now we know where to find the blue, which is great. And also, oh dang it, I can't even jump down. Ah. But yeah, that's how Sorben got involved. And I mean, Rosho doesn't know this, obviously, but. He's having a hard time finding deals to trade his goods with in Kugane because. People don't realize that there's two different factions of Kojin and therefore, you know, they're all evil and stuff and don't want to deal with him and won't you look him in the eye. H how do you know I'm in a new Orzean? Yeah, yeah, th they are. They are. Alright, would you hurry this up? I'm on a mission here. My friend is missing and I just want Aria the current, which I'm gonna get like in several hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Empire came. Life sucks. We all know. It's kind of why we're here. We want to get rid of them. What's wrong, girl? Everything alright? Well, you did so mid-conversation. That was a little rude. You're fine. 
you are totally fine. Not everyone needs to be elegant with words to get their point across. I mean, you beat the crap out of a drunken pirate in the fastest match ever. Like, tell me that doesn't inspire people on some level. I mean, it may not be the level you want to, but that is definitely something worth bragging about. Come on. You have a lot to offer, Lise. You just need to know, you know, be aware of what it is and how to best use your gift. I already know what your gift is. We're gonna get to that eventually, eventually. Aww. So we get dessert waiting for us when we come back home. Aww. Well, what about Cryo? What about Alphano? What about Arnival? Why can't we invite just everybody? D d does this have to be a girls only thing? I mean, this wouldn't make sense if my guy character was a guy, but... <laughs> Still, even if it's a girls night out, why don't we- Why doesn't Cryo get invited? Come on! Come on! Alright, so we got a bit of a ways to go here. Yeah. But that's gonna have to wait until next time. We've gone on long enough. So now, now that we're properly motivated by, by food, it's gonna take a long time for us to get there, but I don't know, sweet treats are kind of hard to pass up, guys. So thank you for watching, my friends, and I shall see you next time.